Hi there. Today, we're going to talk about defining KPIs in enterprise services planning. So let's start with the basics. All KPIs should be fitness criteria metrics and should be recognized by your customers. If they don't care about your KPIs or don't recognize them, they aren't really key or performance indicators. They should address aspects on how they evaluate the fitness of your product or service and indicate how well your business is performing or is likely to perform in the future. Let's look at an example of how we define fitness criteria metrics. Here we have Nita. She's a project manager and she's a mom to three kids. Here's our scenario. Her team is working late and Nita has decided to order pizzas for the team. What attributes do her team care about in a pizza delivery service? The following evening, Nita gets home late again and her kids are hungry. She knows she shouldn't, but she decides to order them, yup, you guessed it, pizza. What makes a pizza delivery service acceptable to a four, six, and nine-year-old? We are presented with two different clusters of people. On one hand, we have the late night at the office, let's order food group. And on the other hand, we have the SOS, need food for the kids ASAP group. The main metrics we have established are delivery time, quality in the menu and order accuracy and in the taste and products used, predictability, so the order time, and safety of the establishment and the produce. When ordering for the team, they are probably happy to wait a little longer for their food and minor errors in the order are unlikely to matter too much as long as there are options for all members to eat pizza. For example, are there any vegetarians? If so, we need some veggie friendly pizza options. So there's a threshold. The menu is important because the team may be more adventurous in their choices of toppings, so they're picky with the menu selection, and the pizzas have to be hot, tasty, and gourmet. The delivery time isn't a concern. A 45 minute window is fine as long as the pizzas arrive safely to the office and their quality isn't compromised. Let's look at the family scenario. The thresholds will be significantly different here. The kids are hungry and they're impatient and now they know they're having pizza, so they're super excited and want it immediately. The delivery needs to be fast and they need to know exactly how long it'll take. The timer is on. The menu isn't that important. As long as there's a basic cheese pizza, they're happy. The kids aren't too picky with a pizza that isn't piping hot, and if there's cheese falling down the sides of the pizza, that's fine too. It doesn't have to be pretty. It does, however, have to be the pizza they ordered, and accuracy is key. If the pizza is cheese and mushrooms, they'll be upset and probably won't even eat it. Mom can worry about the safety of the restaurant and the ingredients used. Are they organic? The website says so. Do the kids care? Nope mom can worry about that. In summary, there's different fitness evaluation thresholds. What's important to one group isn't as important as it is to the other. In order to successfully serve both segments, we must use the higher metrics as our benchmark. We can also segregate our service delivery by segment. This can be done by introducing two classes of service, one for each segment. We could do this through pricing. Would need to pay a premium to guarantee fast delivery? Or can we work with capacity allocation? For example, do we refuse to take large commercial orders during peak hours for domestic orders? We inform corporate clients to order earlier in the day to avoid the risk of them going somewhere else. In conclusion, there's no right or wrong formula. We make the choices based on our segments and the KPIs for our business. We put in place mechanisms, instrumentation, and customer feedback to measure our metrics and can rely on operation reviews to see if we are serving our markets and where we can improve on. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Fit for Purpose, make sure to check out our online courses and follow our social media platforms to stay up to date with all our news.